walk the line Always in the north side Chilling with my other guys You know what it's like What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you put y'all some heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a cartoon head full tutorial, man, with Ariana Grande. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna find our picture and we're gonna drag and drop inside of Adobe Illustrator. So I found my picture. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna resize this thing by holding the shift. And while you hold shift, you just wanna drag the corner of the picture until you get it the perfect size you like. Wait, I should just keep it high headed. All right, look. Okay. Bam, that's, that's cool. Now, what you want to do, you want to come up here and you want to drop the opacity down. That's good enough where you can see it. Okay, then you want to lock that layer, create you a new layer. You want to come up here and the only way you can get these options that I'm going to show you if you're using a digital tablet. I'm using a UG art tablet where you draw right onto the monitor. But you want to come right here. And you want to go to new brush hit okay then you want to come to pressure change this number to three change this number over here to three as well hit okay and there you have it the brush you always see me use in all my videos so now what you want to do is you want to zoom as close as you can make your brush a little smaller Anytime you want to delete, all you got to do is hit Control and Z. So look, make your brush small. And you just want to make some clean lines, clean and steady lines. We're going to make our brush a little smaller. So take our time. Make some clean lines. Let's make this make this line a little thicker, man. A little thicker. Mm. Ah. Add this crease above the eye. Zoom out. You zoom out by holding in. Control and the minus sign. And as you can see, my picture is very pixelated, so we just gotta improvise. Just gotta improvise. Okay. No. Oops. And also, too, I might just overshoot my lines. We ain't gonna worry about the over the lines crossing each other. Okay, let's highlight lips. Go to object, expand appearance, and then you want to click divide on your pathfinder. Now, the lines that we don't want, while we got this selected, right click it, isolate select group, and now we can delete the lines that we don't want. That's over. And we overshot. Hmm. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. 
The outer shape of a face. And instead of making the hair white, I want to make it black. So we're just going to do our own thing with the hair. Add our drip. That the world done ran off with, you know what I'm saying? They done ran off with the, with the style. It's all cool. You feel me? Oh. Rain. Come draw this ear. Now, what we about to do, we about to draw the black hair and the eyes and all the black areas. So what you want to do, you want to come over here to your pencil tool. You want to right click, select your pencil tool, double click onto your pencil tool, make sure your settings look exactly like mine. Hit OK. Move this color to the top, move this black to the top, make sure the bottom layer is locked. And now, gonna use this pencil tool as a fill tool. You feel me? So now we're just gonna place this eye. Bam. Fill that in just like that. Do the same thing on this side. Just fill it in. Our hair. Go ahead and just fill in the main areas. Bring it back. Close it off right there. Make that ponytail come up like this. Right, we got a basic layout of all our black areas. Wait, no, we ain't finished. Still gotta color all this in. See, I just go through and I do all my fill ins. And after I fill in all the black areas, I come back with detail. Closer you zoom in, that's it. Make it easier to get to get all the finer detail. I made this up by the way, you know what I'm saying? So if you ever see if you ever see people doing this, just know they got it from your boy. Yeah, feel me. Get my brush as small as I can get it. And
Now, what we about to do is, about to make all these lines one, become one. About to group them together so you just want to select everything, go to object, expand appearance, click merge on your pathfinder. And now we just made all them lines become one. Hold shift and drag this corner down so we can fit it all on our page. Yeah. Move it over just a tad. There we go. Uh oh. Control Z. Let's stay. All right, there we go. Now we're going to duplicate our line work by dragging it to this blank sheet of paper. Lock the top copy. Select the second copy. Now, go to our rectangle tool. Find a nice little base color to start with. For the skin. Let's see what's in tone. I think it's pretty much. We'll we'll get it perfect. Drag that color over the entire picture. Right click the color, go to arrange and send to back. You'll know if you did this step correctly. If you look over here and you see your color sitting under the line work, you know what I'm saying? So now you want to highlight everything together, click merge so it can become one with the color. Your line work can become one with the color. Now, after you do that, you want to right click the color, isolate, select group. Now we can delete this outer color. And another thing I like to do, I like to hit this drop down menu, hit it again. And I like to lock all my black lines, only my black lines and uh, keep the top two unlocked. So now, we can isolate, select group. And we can delete all the colors outside the hair without having any problems. Making a mistake and deleting the line work. So, delete all that. Let's highlight everything. Let's tweak her skin tone. Wow. While it's highlighted, let's go to edit color, adjust color balance, go to preview, let's give it a nice little tone. Start with that color right there for our base. Nice little base tone. Okay. Go ahead, hold shift. So we can select all the areas that's supposed to be white. Go ahead and make that white. Okay. There's a lip color. So like a, pe a peach. got a nice little base nice little base color man now what we're gonna do go ahead and create a copy of our color layer lock the bottom copy and turn the eye off and now on the copy that's in the middle we're gonna delete the skin only you know what I'm saying we're gonna only delete the skin color so click the skin, isolate, select group, and you always gotta hit isolate, select group so it'll only choose the areas you want it to choose without it deleting everything, without it selecting everything, you know what I'm saying? So hit isolate, select group. Now we just gonna delete the skin off that layer. With me locking all my black lines, it made it easy 
for me to delete all the colors that's in between, that's caught in between the little hairs and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I lock all my black lines. Now that we deleted all the skin tone out of that layer, we can lock that layer. Now we can turn the eye back on on our color layer, create us a layer in between these two. And the reason I do that, so just say when I'm doing my shadows, I don't have to worry about trying to work around the eyes and the other colors. It'll just, it'll just fall right behind it. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I do that method. So now what we finna do, we finna start doing our shadows. So what I'm finna do, I'm finna sample her skin tone. And we gotta find a nice blend into the next color. So on a nice little shadow. Okay. I like to put the first shadow down and then tweak it. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and place our first shadow. So we can make some adjustments and get it perfect. Okay. Now put our first shadow down. Let's tweak this thing. Let's go to recolor with preset, color harmony. Now let's tweak this thing. Um, I can either make it a little more, a little darker. Also, I need to add more. Okay. That's cool right there. Hit okay. Now, what I need to do, I need to sample. Sample that color we just made. Go back to my pencil tool. And we finna shade. And add all our shadows with our pencil tool. And it's not as hard as people make it, man. I just look at my picture and I place the shadows exactly where I see them on the picture. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just looking at my original photo and placing all the shadows. One right here. Come up right here, then it go down, and come back around. Cool. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it as well. You know what I'm saying? The more you practice, you'll have no choice but to get better. So. Just draw as much as you can, and eventually you'll master, you'll master the technique, you know what I'm saying? Now that we got our first Shadow almost complete. Trying to make a new layer for the second tone. And that's all you do. You just keep stacking it until you make it all float. Okay, that's all. Got a shadow right there. So I'm just catching it. I'm catching it all by just looking at my picture. Trying to make sure I don't miss anything. those shadows down what we finna do we finna create another layer under that layer I'm finna make a, a lighter tone a lighter shadow tone let's go ahead and find a nice middle ground I think that's, that'll do for now 
we always can tweak our shadows that's why it's good to put them on separate layers anytime you go lighter you want to make a new layer for it you know what i'm saying so if you need to tweak them you can just change them individually and it's easier to work around when you put it on there's separate layers what i'm about to do is i'm about to unlock all my shadow layers so i can tweak them all together man because i want to make them a little darker but I'm, i want them all to still keep the same flow so i'm gonna go to color of just color balance preview A bit darker. What your boy about to do is go to our light shadow, the last shadow we created, the lightest one. I need to tweak this one a little better. I only got that one selected. I'm telling you guys, it's all about working with your colors until they flowing perfectly. Okay. I'm loving the way that's looking. So now we just gotta add some highlights. So let's create another layer under that layer. And each time you wanna try to go lighter. You know what I'm saying? So. I start with my dark shadows, then I just I just get lighter and lighter. This is all about the flow. You want to make everything flow and look smooth. Okay. Still looking at my picture, so I can place all the shadows exactly where they need to go. All the shades, highlights. Let's highlight that. As I'm telling you, it's all about making it flow. Let's go to adjust color balance. Let's get at some tone just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Hit OK. Go to blend good. Now, we almost finished, man. What I want to do, I want to add some darker shadows. We pretty much, we pretty much got dang finished with the skin tone, man. We just had to get us swagged up real quick. I'm finna add, i go ahead and add some, some highlights and we, we done with it. We officially done with the skin. Now, we Gucci. Now let's create a layer right above right under the line word layer. So with this layer, we're gonna add the details inside the lips and the eyes and the earring.
Okay, now we finna create a layer above everything. So we can add the details in the eyes and the hair. So let's jump right into it. Let's go ahead. We got like dark brown eyes, but we don't. We're gonna over exaggerate them a little bit. what we about to do about to do the hair detail so what you want to do is man you want to come over here to your swatches you want to click that gradient swatch you want to get three different transitions on Now we got our hair texture brush. So now what you want to do? I just want to draw the hair. So we got it up in the ponytail. And sometimes when the when the hair is just not, don't look like it's flowing, I'll show you just like these. You see how them highlights were just placed in the wrong place. They want to do it selectly. Click it. Then you want to move these numbers until they flow to, in the direction you need it to. And there you have it, you guys, how to draw a cartoon head. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this thing.